Broadcasting from Manhattan Beach and the World Wide Web, you're listening to CHSR HealthyLife.net. As a service to our listeners, this program is for general information and entertainment purposes only. CHSR HealthyLife.net does not recommend, endorse, or object to the views, products, or topics expressed or discussed by show hosts or their guests. We suggest you always consult with your own personal, medical, financial, or legal advisor. We think pretty is pretty important in all things in beauty. Welcome to Radio A&B, designed for those who want to live a long and vibrant life. I'm Patty Smucker, a licensed cosmetologist who's been in the beauty industry for over 40 years. You know, Radio A&B stands for American Made Beauty, and it's where we tell the secrets behind the making of health and beauty products. Our program sponsor today is the Beauty Industry Market Access Program, or BEMA. Do you have a wonderful idea for a beauty or wellness brand that you want to bring to market? Do you already have a beauty brand in the market with marginal success, or are you getting calls from international buyers? If so, then you'll want to look at the BEMA program to help you reach your goals. The BEMA program level one is the only program in the U.S. that memorializes the best practices to build a successful beauty brand. Level two deals with the issues to help brands navigate international expansion. BEMA, delivered by some of the industry's top talent, has helped over 100 companies reach for over $40 million in new sales in the last five years. Go to AmericanMadeBeauty.com and look for the BIMA, B-I-M-A logo on the website for more information. Well, as we start uh, 2018, um, and we, I've looked back at our uh, two, two and a half years now that we've been doing um, our radio program, when we did our very first program in February of uh, 2016, um, and that experience, 40 years on the street in the beauty industry, now 144 hours of interviews, interviewing amazing top industry icons. I have enjoyed discussing topics you could expect on a show like this. We've talked about hair and skin, body, nails, and all uh, beauty and wellness related topics. In the last two years, we have, though, boldly gone where most beauty related shows may not have gone. We've addressed topics like probiotics and ingestible beauty, mental health, physical, ergonomic needs for beauty professionals and practitioners, uh, integrated medicine, the evolution of the wellness industry, social media, and the role it's playing in bringing uh, brands to market. But we've also talked about things like Bitcoin, seeing the future, children dealing with dyspraxia, and even female reproductive health. But I'm most proud of using the platform to speak our truth and talk about tough issues like sexual and physical abuse and political discord. As we start this new year in a climate where a new day is on the horizon, as we heard from Oprah Winfrey at the Golden Globe Awards a few nights ago, I'm feeling more excited and empowered. Speaking our truth is the most powerful tool we all have. And here at AMB, that's exactly what we've done in the past, and we're going to continue to do in the future. My ability to bring this program to you every week happens because I have a very powerful village behind me, and I have invited them to join me today so that you can meet them as well. During our feature interview, you'll meet the AMB team and hear why they're exciting. Uh, to, uh, they're excited about contributing uh, and the things that we're doing to make the world a better place. Uh, we'll, in the second segment, we'll talk a little bit about amb.com, americanmadebeauty.com, some of the great brands we're offering and organizations that we're supporting to give back. During our next segment, we'll talk about education initiatives, including our refreshed beauty industry market access program and a new program we're bringing to the market this year, the Foresight Forum. And finally, we'll wrap up our last segment with the shyest member of our group talking a little bit about giving voice to brands, the things we're excited about in beauty, and, and the ways we're using AMB to empower women to speak their truths. So let me start by welcoming our team, Alicia, Christina, and Alish. Welcome. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi. Thank you. 
All right. So uh, I'm going to just open this up to begin with and ask each of you, um, and maybe in a little bit of a different order than we planned um, on our sheet, but um, Alicia, uh, Alicia, will you start um, first off and um, give us a little bit about who you are? Um, well, my name is Alicia Benkovich. I'm actually the website director here at American Made Beauty. I've actually, um, I think I have seniority. <laughs> <laughs> Um, I've been here about two plus, a little over two years. Um, I originally come from a fashion background, uh, coming from um, fashion institute, design and merchandising, um, doing tech des- design with handbags, but I've always had an obsession with the beauty industry, and that's what kind of led me um, to find Patty and American Made Beauty, and I'm pursuing my beauty passions with her and the team. And so um, what, what are you particularly excited about in uh, 2018? I think um, what I'm looking forward to is building our, our community. I think we've really done a good job of, of kind of um, building the groundwork and speaking um, to women and also just um, uh, that community of strong women that I think um, the beauty industry is kind of founded on. Um, and kind of speaking to them and um, growing that community within American Made Beauty. And I'm particularly excited about um, uh, Alicia is a little bit um, humble here, but she's an amazing designer and um, has uh, done some things with us uh, for 2018. We're going to be seeing some of her accessories uh, that she's designed for American Made Beauty, so you'll see some of that as well. So let's jump to um, Alicia Pierce. Um, and Alish, will you tell us a little bit about yourself? Sure. Um, well, I have been in the industry over 30 years. Um, and I have to say, Alicia, I think I predate you. Maybe not. Uh, <laughs> oh, for sure. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think I my work to Patty's cart years ago. <laughs> <laughs> got it, got it. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, I, I was actually just talking to a uh, fellow celebrity makeup veteran friend of mine who started at the same time in Milan and um, there are a lot of makeup artists who have gone through the whole career thing and now entering a phase in their life where they're not in the union and there isn't some you know celebrity who's written them into their contract for life and they're looking for a shift and so I'm really grateful to be affiliated with A&B because I've had a full makeup career fashion entertainment, uh, personal personal um, appearances with the Obamas, and now I'm able to make this transition and working with a, the A&B team, helping, putting all the information I've learned over the years and uh, the aesthetic, I guess, into helping to create these brands um, and revamp brands. It's really exciting for me. And, and so um, Alish's um, role is as a brand strategist. And so tell us a little bit about what a brand strategist does at American Made Beauty. Um, I follow your lead. <laughs> <laughs> my, my it's really, um, I, I think, catching the vision of those brands, those, their, their marketing team, the CEO, and helping to refine the vision so that it can be translated to the marketplace um, so that the end user kind of catches all the everything they intended to put into the brand. Um, we take a look at their um, cost of goods, making sure that their price, their pricing structure is set up properly, um, looking at the ingredients, maybe making some suggestions for how to tweak formulas or add additional products. Um, and then, of course, I always defer to you and we talk about distribution, um, but that is has been the exciting new uh, arena for me um, just to delve into this this brand building experience and as as is uh the rest of the team um much uh, very humble um the, alicia is an accomplished uh, uh aesthetician and very 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 well versed on all uh things related to ingredients and what you put topically on the skin but also a published author so i'm delighted to have um the whole team um let's uh, turn our attention to uh christina optergrove christina tell us a little bit about yourself 
Yeah, well, if this is a, a Patty competition, <laughs> um, I mean, I, I'm, I'm Patty's niece, so I, I think I might have you all be as, as a guinea pig, Patty, when I was little. I feel like that could count as me working with you that, as, a, as a little girl. That's right. <laughs> um, but, but, yeah, I professionally, I've only, I've been with A&B for about a year, um, so I was lucky enough to move my aunt's awesome relationship into working with A and B. I love it. I am the new business director of new business. I work for my virtual office. So if you hear uh, the little guy chiming in, he may, uh, the one-year-old might chime in there. Uh, also, I work on the social media and, uh, yeah, I'm really excited about AMD in 2018. In, in particular for 2018, is there anything, any new initiative that uh, we've talked about that you're really particularly excited about? Uh, I'm excited about the brands that we have already on and doing some of the different events that we're talking about. And then uh, signing on a bunch of new brands. I see all these American-made brands that I would love to have on the marketplace. So, I'm excited about venturing out and growing bigger. And I'm surprised, again, another humble, the, the, the amazing um, digital and graphic um, studio that you've set up with lights and camera and all of that kind of stuff to really enhance all of your uh, social activity. You've, you've, you've done a great job in putting all of that together as well. Thanks. Yeah, it'll be fun. All right, so um, as we, um, I wanted to, so that's the team, and we basically um, um, work a lot of it virtually, but um, everybody contributes, and there's a, a different voice. We have um, between the four of us, um, I'm 60, uh, and Christina is our youngest, and we all fall in between, um, so we are able to really have different perspectives at the table. It's one of the things I really love about um, how we're crafting the, our brand and then being able to help the other brands that we we uh, come in contact with. But let's talk a little bit about, you know, some of the things we talk about in our t team meetings, how um, the changes that are going on in the world and what A and B we're doing to help that. Um, so, um, Alicia, can you talk a little bit about some of the, uh, the, the ways in which um, American Made Beauty is really helping brands? Um, well, I think the biggest Thing is, um, you know, helping brands follow FDA guidelines. I think a lot of brands have good intentions, but they don't quite understand how all of that um, works. And with someone like um, American Made Beauty, we're able to help guide them to, to the process and do all the proper checks and balances that they're following all of the proper guidelines in order to be um, within the FDA guidelines. Um, I think a lot of uh, kind of maybe what muddies the waters is um, brands, especially new kind of homegrown brands that are making their products maybe in kitchens and not quite understanding how different ingredients will affect, you know, in anyone's, you know, different skin type and things like that. And that being um, within the FDA guidelines, they have, they have a correct manufacturer and all that so that, you know, the, the American public is also educated, is, it has the information um, that that, um, that this is a that you know they're following those guidelines and it's a um, um, you know a, a trusted brand a trusted product. Yeah, we you know we sort of think of ourselves as the good housekeeping seal um, of approval for brands and helping to eliminate some of that confusion. Um, and, uh, and 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 Alicia's role, I see a lot of times your attention to detail in terms of really being able to see. Um, where those brands are um, doing a good job and where there's some opportunity for them to be more transparent as they're presenting their brands to the consumer. Um, so, uh, Alicia, um, can, can you tell us a little bit about um, what, why we feel like education is so important um, and how, uh, how American Made Beauty is helping brands on the educational forefront? Well, I think that brands, in this crowded marketplace, um, you know, brands are looking for ways to become innovative, something that they can offer in addition to all of the tons of content they have to release for free. Um, I think that um, we're, right now, brands are releasing so much of their valuable education material on social media that the paid content, those one-on-one -on -one 
training sessions or um, digital training packages that I keep pushing really hard because <laughs> um, it's the future, um, those need to really offer even more value. Um, so we've been helping brands create um, digital training platforms so that they can cut out those expenses of, you know, sending someone to do a face-to-face -face training, um, going into more technical aspects of building a brand, maybe helping. I know that the manufacturers need to dive deeper in explaining their cosmetic chemistry, um, but also I'm finding that um, it helps if the well, it helps if the brand takes the initiative to um, explain some of the finer our, uh, nuances of selling retail, how to actually sell the brand in. I think that that is a piece that has been missing, and um, when it comes to makeup, skincare, so much information is being released for free that those those accounts need to know how to add value when they're faced with the customer, with the end user. And, and, so, that, um, and it's such an important important part because you know it's a crowded market conditions and so the more that we can help brands to distinguish themselves from another uh, is part of the way that we're able to uh, really add value for uh, the the consumer um, Christina tell us I know you're you you really focus a lot on the social and you and I often have a lot of conversations about the tone and the things that are going on out there um, particularly in this polarized uh, environment. Can you tell us a little bit about how you're using social uh, to um, make a difference in the world? Did we lose Christina? Well, let me answer that for you. <laughs> the way that we, we somehow we've lost her, but um, fun and you know Christina's goal is um, fun and respectful inclusion. Um, and being able to have um, dialogue that is inclusive of as many different um, perspectives and opinions. Christina, are you back with us? I am back with you. I'm sorry. I, I did lose you. No worries. So um, with uh, the, the t can you tell us a little bit about your thinking when you start putting together social uh, engagement? Um, how are some of the, what are some of the things that you think about in terms of bringing people together? Um, well, I like to think about what's going on in the world. Um, I like to think American Made Beauty is kind of our view, our interpretation of the world and, and how we want to let everybody talk about it and share it with everyone. Um, so, and I really like to, I like to, the, I love Radio A and B, so for a while I was booking some of the different guests on Radio A and B. That's one of my favorite ways to, to share everything with the world. And so as we wrap up this first segment, can each of you tell me in the, in the period of time that you've worked with us, what's one of the greatest things that you've learned so far? I'll, I'll, uh, Alicia, I'll, I'll start with you. Um, I think for me, one of the greatest things I've learned is just that I, I think we kind of think that um, the U.S. doesn't have guidelines or um, certain rules for the beauty industry to be following, mm -hmm. and I've learned that that is not true, and that it's just all about educating yourself and understanding um, how the industry works. Um, that's probably been, I mean, if I were to narrow everything down that I've learned, which is really difficult to do, that's probably one of the biggest kind of foundational things for me. Okay, good. And it's a, that's a huge one. Alicia, how about you? I think for me it's twofold. Um, the, the primary lesson for me has been that there is a formula to building a brand, and that, that's really been the highlight for me to understand what each of those um, uh, units, how it all adds up to this beautiful picture in, you know, what you see on the shelf. Mm -hmm. There uh, is, a, is a science to building it. Um, <laughs> and even though there's a science and it's tried and true, it's also flexible, and we're finding a lot of new innovations coming up. So I think that's the second part. I get really excited when I think of, Specifically, one of your clients, Alex and Tay, and um, I think about it with Christina because it's 
such an innovative company marrying um, wellness or beauty with the tech industry. And I think that's in 2018, that is what we're going to see. In 2017, Rihanna blew everything up with um, her multi-ethnic approach to beauty. It was Fenty Beauty. But the well care um, sector, I think, is what's coming up now, marrying beauty, wellness, fitness, um, environmental sustainability, along with the tech industry. Right. Um, and and this, yeah. Okay, cool. <laughs> And Christina, you've got a minute left. What What do you think? What's the greatest thing you've learned so far? Uh, I think with what Alicia said and the FDI, FDA rules, I think what we put on and in our body is pretty important. Mm-hmm. Great. All right, good. Well, we're going to um, take a break, and when we come back, um, Alicia will uh, is going to stay with us, and we're going to talk a little bit about some of the amazing brands that we do have with AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Uh, so stay with us. We will be right back. Over here, here's a secret for a virus-free computer. ESET. They've been a pioneer in the antivirus industry for over 25 years. 25 years of innovative, top-rated antivirus protection. ESET's award-winning security solutions provide a safe online experience for over 100 million home and business computer owners. They are so affordable, fast, and simple to use. So be gone, you blue screen of death. ESET's on my computer. If it's not on yours, visit HealthyLife.net's advertiser page and click on ESET now. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. What does HealthyLife.net and Amazon.com have in common? Well, they're both available on the Internet. They both give great value. But most important, most of our positive program hosts and guests are accomplished authors. And their books are available from, you got it, Amazon.com. Now it even gets better than that. Because when you're listening on air to a HealthyLife.net host or guest, you can go directly to Amazon.com and you can order your book while you're still listening to your favorite HealthyLife.net program. So when you hear an author you like, go to the homepage of HealthyLife.net and click on Amazon.com. Where positive people and radio unite. HealthyLife.net Welcome back. This is Patty Smucker, your host here at Radio AMB, and um, we're on HealthyLife.net. We're delighted today to be talking a little bit about American Made Beauty, and we um, always have all sorts of amazing guests on this show, and this is sort of our beginning of the year, sort of reflecting on what's happened in the past, but also sort of setting our sights for what we're doing in 2018, which we think is very exciting. So, um, Alicia, uh, is the one that runs our um, uh, website and brings all of our brands on board uh, and is the one that really has that intimate interaction with the brands. So, Alicia, tell us a little bit about um, some of the brands, the great brands that we're offering uh, currently on American Made Beauty. Oh, well, um, very exciting. We have um, all kinds of categories, um, skin care, hair care, um, we even have some uh, beauty tools and things like that. Some of um, uh, our, our top brands would be Brushopolis. Um, it's a brand that has um, hair brushes that are actually made here in the U.S. They took over the Monroe Brush Company, and now they're um, producing brushes under Brushopolis. So it's 
pretty exciting brand. Um, we also have Circel, very great indie skincare brand, um, really innovative products. Um, we love uh, the founder, Maya. She's a really, really sweet person, and her line is just a gorgeous skincare line. Um, we also do makeup. Uh, we have a great brand called Hue Noir, made in, um, Patty, are they made in the Oregon area? Yep, or? Portland, uh-huh. Portland, Oregon, um, and by uh, Paula Hayes. She's a, a chemist and makes beautiful products, um, uh, beautiful uh, color makeup products. Uh, we even, if you want to um, even kind of go away a little bit from, from beauty, we even have a line of fashion clothing, Cita Couture, um, really innovative fabrics that she uses that are um, uh, very advanced, um, very healthy, and um, just beautiful, comfortable um, clothes that um, I know Patty you and I both have a, a, a couple of um, items from her, and they're just wonderful. Um, couple would be an understatement for me. But and, <laughs> what, and the interesting thing is is that, you know, people say, well, why do you have clothing on your, I mean, I thought you were a beauty. And we've included, we actually am expanded into clothing for Sita uh, because her clothing is really what I consider to be wellness clothing. Um, the fabrics are made from all natural uh, materials, and she's really made big inroads in the spa industry where many, many spas around the world are actually carrying a product because of how, how healthy they are on your skin um, and to just uh, to live in. So that's, um, I wanted to say a little bit about that particular category. And, and you said, um, as you mentioned, Alicia, um, it's 15 different categories of, of, uh, of products that we have on American Made Beauty, right? Right, right, exactly. Yeah, and um, I think one of the more I think um, one of the more probably what's very popular right now would be natural and organic, and one of the brands that sticks out for us on the website for natural and organic would be Teodora. Mm-hmm. Um, they have some beautiful products, a lot of uh, not a lot of ingredients, but a few of her core ingredients that come from the Brazilian rainforest, um, but all still made here in the U.S. And um, her products. She has a great following, and her products are really effective and just a beautiful um, indie brand that I think is is growing tremendously. And when I tell people about the fact that we actually have this, we're a marketplace that's brought together all of these brands um, under our roof, what is the criteria, um, Alicia, for brands to be able to be listed and sold on American Made Beauty? Um, well, they need to have their products actually manufactured here, um, but there are certain percentages of outside um, ingredients that can be used within the product as long as they stay within a certain percentage. Um, it's still within the guidelines of being made here in the U.S. So um, as long as the product is actually um, filled into um, that's kind of the biggest criteria is that it's actually um, filled into the containers and the, and the um, packaging here in the U.S. Um, as long and, and also being um, combined and um, mixed right. here in the U.S. If, if that's you know a kind of an easier way to explain um, how they fit into the, the different categories. And what, what I what we think is very important about that is that the the actual coming together of the ingredients is where the safety is built into the product. You know, it's the, in, in liquid product in particular, and one of the primary ingredients is going to be water. So being able to have that water source being a U.S. source as well as the way the product is actually put together it ensures the safety. Uh, and as um, Alicia had mentioned in the first segment, we also do um, an extensive evaluation of compliance with labeling. Which, requ- which means that their, uh, the brands are transparent to consumers, which is one of the reasons why the FDA has the kind of labeling that it does, is so that it is uh, transparent. Consumers can make informed decisions before they buy uh, about their product. But, Alicia, we do a lot in terms of we've, we've also, um, in addition to having our brands that you, know, you can come under one roof and be able to buy, <clears throat> everything from hair to skin to uh, foot care to nail care, uh, but we also have a number of nonprofit organizations that we support. Can you tell us a little bit about those organizations? Absolutely. Um, 
We have some really interesting um, industry kind of facing um, um, organizations. The first one that comes to mind would be Eyes on Cancer, um, founded by husband and wife team Dean James Foster and Jean Bray Foster. Um, the mission of Eyes on Cancer is to add, advance the prevention and early detection of cancer through education in the beauty industry. Because they're basically teaching people who work within the beauty industry how to um, check for cancers. Um, and they actually help with um, educating um, the beauty professionals in schools and salons how to be aware of skin cancer and to recognize how to detect it early. So I think it's a really important kind of, they're in the first line of communication and um, connection with um, people sitting in their chair. Yeah, and, and all, of, all of these organizations, what I love about the, this particular part of our business is that every purchase that you make, uh, there is a portion of those purchases that go to support these different, different groups. Uh, but all of them that we've selected are organizations that are in some way have some connection uh, to the industry. Uh, and Alicia is well, the, the one that, uh, that manages them. Um, is there any, anything in particular that uh, is exciting for you as far as um, 2018 with uh, new brands coming on board? Um, absolutely. I, I, I think that um, we're reaching out to um, more and more brands, and I think that um, um, this is a really important thing for community building um, for brands, and part of the reason why it's important to us, um, I think that more and more brands are thinking this way. How can we give back to our communities? And I think um, going looking forward into 2018, I think AMB would love to um, bring on more brands that have that kind of underlying um, theme to their brand, that they're helping with their communities and their give back and their reach out. Right. Um, but I think that's important for all brands going forward now. Absolutely. All right. Well, we're going to take another break. And when we come back, um, Alish uh, Pierce will come back with us and we'll talk a little bit more about uh, the BEMA program and our Foresight uh, Forum for 2018. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. For all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now, this same technology is available to you. They have the best earthcast encoders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget, web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 1-800-849-8978. That's 1-800-849-8978. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. When you're looking for bedding, department store prices can shock you. We'll be shocked no more. 
Sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. Radio your way. HealthyLife.net Hey, thanks for staying with us. This is Patty Smucker, and you're he, he, we're here on Radio AMB on HealthyLife.net. Um, during this segment, we want to talk a little bit about um, some educational uh, opportunities that we have built uh, for 2018. Uh, the Beauty Industry Market Access Program has been around for the last five years, and um, Alicia has uh, Alicia Pierce has been involved with it as a participant, and now in 2018 is going to be um, one of the other subject matter experts that will be uh, delivering content. So, Alicia, tell us a little bit about the Beauty Industry Market Access Program. Well, I think that um, the most striking point that that really um, BEMA attracts BEMA, it attracts brands to BEMA, is that when they learn that 76% of the buying power is outside of the U.S., <laughs> that I, I know to an indie brand is mind-blowing, mm-hmm. um, especially one that has been trying to get a foothold in the U.S. Um, to understand that there may be a larger market that they could uh, attract if they could become compliant. Now, that's the question. That's the, that's the dilemma, you know, um, with all of the inquiries we've been getting from these amazing, uh, innovative indie brands. How do you take those first steps to be, know that you're compliant, to make that step and, and branch out? Um, a lot of them have been asking about uh, well, going to London, to, going to the EU, um, and the, the manufacturers and distributors really need to uh, take a step back. I think, and this education is so valuable in teaching them the skills they need to really grow their company um, domestically and internationally. And that, and that, I think, is the interesting thing when we began doing this program is that the, some of the same things that one needs to be able to be successful in the domestic market is what's necessary for the international market. But I think even more important, were you surprised as you went through uh, the program how many decisions needed to be made before you put your first amount of goop in the jar that affected international? Oh yeah, oh definitely, and and those um, all of those steps I think get overlooked when um, a manufacturer gets emotion in the way, or maybe a need to just get to market, and you know we've experienced that just need to get to market and wants to jump over all of those steps, and then they find well I'm here, but I don't have a strong footing because I didn't take the time to take all the proper steps. Right. And it can be overwhelming, um, especially if you've already launched and trying to backtrack. Right. Um, Yeah, definitely. And so the the, um, uh, program is broken into two parts. Um, a two-day program for level one that just focuses on the basics and what one needs just for the domestic environment. And then level two is a two-day program that turns the attention uh, to the international uh, market. When you went through that particular part of the part of the program, Alicia, was there any sort of major um, learnings or things that um, – really shifted your thinking about your own brand? Well, um, I think that <laughs> at the time it was um, really overwhelming, and what it, it really got me to do was take the emotion out of it and look at the project objectively. And I think that last day with the uh, group of distributors was really the highlight because it was a culmination of everything that we learned. Um Everything from, you know, finding a responsible party in the EU 
to all of the wonderful assistance that we could is available to us in the U.S. to make that leap. Um, it all kind of came together in one cohesive thought on that last day, uh, one cohesive presentation. Right. And that was really the, the proving ground of everything that we, we learned. And, you know, when I, I'm constantly asked by uh, new brands, you know, what do I need to do to get certified in other parts of the world? And the, so the very first thing we tell people is there is no certification. <laughs> um, you, you, you must be registered. Uh, in in markets outside of the United States, and again, if you start early and you begin, if you want, begin to gather the understanding of what it takes to be an international brand, the exercise and the work that's involved to build a global brand, um, it, that that work starts before the 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 first bottle is produced because there's many decisions about ingredients and documentation and paperwork that's so critical to streamline and make your registration process easier. But if it's not done to begin with, the changes going on uh, regulation in the EU uh, even before you get to the point of formulation, mm -hmm. that you know all of that needs to be taken into consideration. The, the, it just it hurt my heart to tell a brand that, you know, yes, you have this beautiful label that you've invested in, and now you need to go back and revamp it and right. <laughs> list the ingredient deck properly. And, you know, it just, yeah. Right. There's a lot to consider. Right. There's a lot to consider. I, I'm really excited about the, the revamping of the BEMA program and this foresight forum that you're implementing. I, um, just picked up this great saying, foresight leads to insight, which shapes the action, our actions in the present. And so I, I'm really excited about the, the work that you're doing um, if next month right. to, to launch the the forum. Right. So the the um, earlier this uh, or last year, I began a process, and I, for those of you who've been following our program, know that we had um, some directors from the Institute for the Future, which is a 50-year-old think tank uh, that helps has helped to uh, observe and gather. Uh, what they call signals or data in the current uh, life that we're living and to be able to um, identify and, and utilize that information to predict what life is going to be like in the future. Um, and that mindset is called foresight. Uh, and I've had the privilege of being involved with the Institute now uh, this last year and um, going through a process by which I've learned some of those tools uh, so I have become uh, a foresight facilitator, and that is what we're going to be implementing in 2018 in conjunction with the BEMA program. So if you participate in the BEMA program, you'll have an opportunity uh, to add on a third day in which we will be uh, sharing the discipline of foresight thinking and providing the tools that you as uh, a member of your team can take back to your organization and begin implementing. And it really is a very natural process. We do it um, um, organically in most organizations, but we just don't put it in the context that allows us to connect the dots so that you can move into the future um, by capitalizing on the innovative opportunities. And so that's what uh, the Foresight Forum will be, and it will be uh, an add-on to the BEMA program in 2018. So I'm pretty excited about that as well. Like it's just a natural um, extension of what we're already doing. The idea of giving um, manufacturers tangible tools that they can replicate in their their own business. That that is that's the gold, you know. Right. Absolutely. All right. Well, we're going to take our last break, and when we come back. I'm going to coax Christina to come and talk with us again, and we'll talk a little bit more about um, so, the social arena and how we are giving voice to our own brand and to the brands that are part of the American Made Beauty Marketplace. So stay with us. We'll be right back. Here's 
the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easier for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. When you're looking for bedding, department store prices can shock you. Well, be shocked no more. Sell steak cheap, not cheap steak. That's the motto of Anna's Linens. Although they don't sell steak, they do sell the best bedding, bath, and home decor items. They strive to provide their merchandise at extreme value to their customers, and they do it. Great everyday prices on everything and military discounts. Plus, if you visit them online, they have clearance items and Internet specials. Visit them online now at HealthyLife.net's advertiser page. We're looking for a few good American beauty manufacturers who want to increase their brand in an exclusive credentialed category. If you're an American company who has conceived, designed, and bottled brands that are all about pretty, then we're pretty sure we're talking about you. And we're pretty sure you should be on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. This beauty website focuses on entrepreneurs and beauty startups as well as established brands. If it's pretty, we want to see it, and we want to sell it on AmericanMadeBeauty.com. To learn how you can be part of AmericanMadeBeauty.com, visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com now. Oh man, it never fails. My suitcase just got ripped apart. Life is a journey. Make it a pleasant one. You Samsonite, you know the name. For almost a century, Samsonite luggage has proved itself to be the worldwide leader in innovative travel solutions. Let it be yours. Visit HealthyLife.net's affiliate Samsonite on our homepage and click to look at the fine luggage from suitcases to golf travel bags. And don't forget, take a look at their travel accessories. Make life a journey, a pleasant one, with Samsonite. HealthyLife.net, where positive overcomes negative. Welcome back. This is Patty Smucker, your host here at Radio AMB, and I am just thrilled to have the opportunity to have my team, um, Alicia, Alicia and Christina, here with us today in a rare uh, show where we're telling you a little bit about what we do um, in more detail and some of the things that we're particularly excited about uh, going into uh, 2018. So, Christina, you take care of um, your major role has evolved this year in the social arena. Tell us a little bit about how um, so how social is playing an important part in bringing brands to market. Uh, well, I think the social media is exactly like it, as as it says. It's social. It's connecting with different people. Uh, that's one of my favorite things about it. It doesn't even feel like I'm working sometimes. I'm just connecting with different. Brands are is a per, it's a person that's running it. So I, I'm usually just connecting with different people, and it's it's really important. It's it's the face of everything. It's going out there and talking to people. So I love it. And so, how much time do you spend um, every day? Because you really, at this point, you are managing two two brands: American Made Beauty in the social environment, but also Alex and Tay. Um, how much time do you spend every day on social platforms? Uh, probably easy four hours a day. Mm-hmm. Um, it could be more if I'm trying to do just a little bit of networking, going out there and plugging, doing all the little likes and saying hi to everybody. Uh, but, uh, yeah, at least four hours a day. Okay. And what, what um, at this point, are you seeing with everything that's happening in our world politically and culturally um, for the context, depending on when you're listening to this radio program, uh, just a couple of nights ago we had the Golden Globes and Oprah Winfrey um, uh, received the uh, Cecil D. D. DeMille, is that the right pronunciation, award, uh, and, um, you know, really talked about the idea that um, time is up. The, 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 the environment that has been is done, and we are moving into a new era in which um, people are able to speak their truth. Are you seeing, because we're in that, in that critical point in which social change is happening, are you, do you see a shift happening in, an, in, the, in the social arena? 
Uh, sure. Like, the day after the Golden Globes, everybody, it was every what everyone was talking about. I think especially for women, um, we're using our platform when it comes to beauty. That this is this is how we're going to connect with everybody, and we're going to do it however we can. So so yeah, totally. I think we're 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 talking. We're doing what we can using our voice. And since you you're you're the one that's leading that charge. Um, what are some of the things that uh, you share? Because I, I know you're guiding me in being more engaged in this environment. Um, for for others like myself, uh, what are some of the things that you advise for people to be more effective in uh, the social environment? Uh, I, making the connection. I think um, sharing people that inspire you will inspire other people, and then you're connecting with someone. So it's it's a win-win. Everybody, it's it's kind of the point of it is connecting and and sharing stuff that you think is is awesome, and I think that's a big part of it. Right, right. And um, Alicia and Alicia, do you um, or or are you finding it easy to get involved on uh, a, a social level? Are there any particular things that you've seen with regards to changes that are occurring as um, our society is going through this big cultural shift? I think I'm uh, I'm seeing just a lot more people coming forward and speaking, mm-hmm. and I mean speaking through social media. Mm-hmm. And I think it's it's not just a one time you know maybe you get the tide of lots of people saying things after the, um, you know, the Oprah speech and all of that. But there's an underlying kind of theme to, to kind of everyone's daily posts um, of just, you know, every now and then really speaking their mind and, and um, th- that community is staying strong. It's right. not kind of breaking apart. It's kind of we're all kind of united. It really does look that way. Uh-huh. Alicia, anything? I think that's late. Yeah, I vacillate between being, you know, uh, wanting to be seen as a young t- techie and I'm in it, you know, and I can in- I can Instagram, I won't Snapchat, and I make really <laughs> valuable connections. People are able to ask me questions about building a brand or their skincare regimen um, and, and have direct access to me, which I love, and I have that direct access to them, which I love, and... I, and I think it's valuable for that reason. I also have a little bit of a nostalgia for the way things used to be, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, it has changed the industry so much with the influencers sort of taking the place of makeup artists who have been really, you know, investing time and energy in their careers and actually working in the field. So it's a it's a love-hate. It really is. It's, it's necessary, and I... I love the connections, the friendships that I'm building uh, online, and I know that it is probably the single most important reason um, my skincare makeup career has shifted. Right. Um, brands are, you know, paying celebrities to use their products now, mm-hmm. paying celebrities to use their makeup team, and and that the whole dynamic has, has shifted now. Right. Because, media. Christine, I know that you're doing a lot visually um, in that social environment. How, what are what what's what guides that? What, why do you think it's um, it's really taking over in terms of, of a visual perspective? I think it's a fast-paced world, and everybody wants all that information as fast as possible. Uh, if you notice, usually it's a picture with the words just coming at you. You don't really have to do much. Uh, yeah, I think it's all evolving. Got to gotta keep moving with it. Right, exactly. And so as we wrap up today, um, I want to thank um, all of you, all three of you, for um, just the um, amazing contribution that you make, um, uh, not only in terms of putting your heart and soul to it, but you make me laugh. Um, you bring a big smile to my face. And um, I think that we're doing an awesome job and making a difference in the world. So thanks for being with me today, and thanks for showing up every day in my life in a way that um, makes me happy. <laughs> Thanks for having us. Absolutely. 
All right. Well, that's going to do it for us today. Um, I b- believe that um, 2018 is going to be a really awesome, awesome year. Uh, many of us are quoting Oprah uh, for a variety of different reasons, but I think one of the things I loved about her uh, speech the other night was um, in her closing said something about the fact that um, in, the, in people's darkest hours, the uh, opportunity to maintain hope for a brighter morning uh, is what gets people through. And that's really what has gotten us through this very dark year. I'm glad 2017 is behind us. 2018 is going to be an awesome year. Be with us next week as we talk about the bathroom key uh, and um, continue to bring you amazing stories about beauty, fashion, wellness, and health. I'm Patty Smucker. Thank you for listening to Radio A&B, where we think pretty is pretty important in all things in beauty. For all your live or pre-recorded webcasting needs, come to earthchannel.com. Get your web-based message out to a select group or the whole world. It's easy. A pioneer in webcasting, earthchannel.com provides the best products and services to big corporations and government users. And now, this same technology is available to you. They have the best Earthcast encoders, servers, and products to meet your technical needs. But wait, don't want to mess with technical stress? No problem. They'll do it for you. EarthChannel.com is your answer. You can use webcasting for lots of things like advertising, marketing, customer support, training, and don't forget, web radio and TV. In fact, you're listening to a live EarthCast right now. So come to EarthChannel.com. Actualize your audio or video webcasting needs today. You can't beat the friendly service or the price. Call EarthChannel.com at 1-800-849-8978. That's 1-800-849-8978. Here's the thing about beauty. It's pretty. At AmericanMadeBeauty.com, we're all about the pretty, making it easy for you to find what makes your beauty shine. We have essentially everything you need, and AmericanMadeBeauty.com celebrates brands that were created right here in the U.S. of A. Imagine everything you need from the best hair, skin, and nail products to makeup and even the tools because it's all about pretty at AmericanMadeBeauty.com. We also think you're pretty important, so visit AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Browse, buy, learn. AmericanMadeBeauty.com. Obstacle racing. You know you want to try it. Well, try Reebok Spartan Race, the global leader in obstacle racing. With four different race levels, their goal is to get you up off the couch and throw you into the mud and on the trails to give you the adrenaline rush of your life. Obstacle courses are designed to test your resilience, strength, stamina, quick decision-making skills, and give you the ability to laugh in the face of adversity. Visit HealthyLife.net advertiser page and click on Spartan Race. HealthyLife.net, the positive radio network.